Your soul shall be mine! Warlock was one of the nine original classes of Hearthstone and is to this day still one of the most beloved classes in the game. Known for their skill with dark magics, their mastery over demons and their many ways to generate cards, Warlock is a fun class to play. But in recent times, most Warlock archetypes have been based around the same concepts of dealing damage to your own hero in order to gain tempo. But maybe this doesn't have to be the case. We'll come back to the Hearthstone class overhaul series, where I take a look at each of Hearthstone's older classes and introduce new mechanics to make them more similar to Hearthstone's most recent class, Death Knight. Last time I asked you if you wanted to see my Warlock or Druid overhaul next, and there wasn't a single person who asked for Druid. So in today's video, I'll be expanding on the Warlock class by giving them three distinct archetypes that are decided during deck building, as well as a brand new resource. I call this update, Soul of Darkness. Like I said, I've tried giving Warlock three distinct archetypes you can play, sort of like Death Knight has their three different runes. But unlike Death Knight, these archetypes won't force your deck into a specific direction, but are more like optional attachments. You see, these archetypes would be based on the three most prominent playstyles for Warlock that are already in the game. With the prominence of Painlock this expansion, everyone of course remembers Warlock's self-damage archetypes. But Warlock is also well known for their discard mechanics and even for their cards that destroy their own minions. And you can choose which of these directions you want to take your deck, not with specialized cards, but through the addition of two new hero powers you can choose instead of the regular Warlock hero power. Let me explain. From now on when you're building a deck in Hearthstone and you choose the Warlock class, you'll first be presented with a choice before you start building your deck. You'll get to choose between three Warlock hero powers, each corresponding with one of Warlock's main archetypes. You could choose Warlock's current hero power, Life Tap, which remains unchanged. This one would probably suggest you are going down the Pain Lock direction. Or you could choose the new Mind Tap. This one would discard a card and then draw a card for two mana. Choose this one if you are planning on building your deck around discarding. And finally you could choose Power Tap, which will destroy a random friendly minion and draw a card for 2 mana. Note that you will still draw a card even if you didn't destroy a minion. This is probably the hero power you choose as say an egg lock. I did come up with a second design for Power Tap, where you have to destroy a friendly minion in order to draw a card. But that one lets you choose which minion to destroy. You guys can decide which of these hero powers you like better. If you manage to upgrade any of these hero powers, you will just get the regular upgraded Warlock hero power, which just draws a card for 2 mana. Once you've chosen your hero power, you will enter the regular deck building screen, but with a small interface above your deck that shows which hero power you chose. Clicking it will take you back to the hero power selection screen, where you can choose a new hero power. Now, I also mentioned something about a new resource. I've given Warlock a new resource that is rather similar to Death Knight's corpses, which I've called Souls. Warlocks will gain a soul every time they destroy a minion with their cards or characters, be it an enemy minion or a friendly minion, but not if you destroy a minion through your hero power, since that's neither a card nor a character. These souls would only be gained when you do the destroying, so if you attack an enemy minion with one of your minions, you would only gain a soul for the enemy minion dying. But any cards that deal damage to or destroy your own minions will still give you a soul for each minion you destroyed. Souls would be used similarly to Death Knight's corpses, so cards will often say something along the lines of spend souls to do something, like this Dark Acolyte, which will spend up to 6 souls and summon a 1 1 imp for each. Here are a few other cards that deal with souls. Before we round this video off, I want to share with you a new legendary I made for Warlock, which supports each of the three archetypes you can choose. The Clanless One. This 3 mana 2 5 legendary minion has a start of game effect that allows you to sign a pact with a demon lord. What this means is at the start of your very first turn you'll be presented with a choice. You can choose three different quests, each based on one of Warlock's archetypes, and you'll be rewarded with a powerful demon lord. The quest is played instantly, so it's technically free, but you also have to include a measly 3 mana 2-5 minion in your deck, and this also means you can't play it alongside the likes of, say, the Demon Seed. You could choose the Pact of Archimond, where you have to take 12 damage on your turns and you will be rewarded with Archimond the Definer, who is a 5 mana 9-7 demon that will deal damage equal to the damage your hero took on your turns this game, randomly split amongst all enemies. 
You could also choose the Pact of Kill Jaden, where you have to discard 6 cards, and you'll be rewarded with Kill Jaden the Deceiver, who is a 5 mana 7 9 demon that will play all cards you discard in this game, but with random targets. Or finally, you could choose the Pact of Manoroth, where you have to destroy 4 friendly minions. Note that a mini dying from attacking an enemy won't count, but any killed by the power type hero power will. If you complete this quest, you will be rewarded with Manoroth the Destructor, who is a 5 mana 8 8 demon that will resurrect all friendly minions you destroyed this game. Well, that's the end of my Warlock overhaul. Let me know if you thought I improved the class. But before I end the video entirely, I want to point your attention to the Bionic Door channel. He also has a series where he overhauls Hearthstone classes called Hearthstone Classes Revisited, which is actually the series that inspired me to make my own version. You should really check out his Warlock Revisit, it's one of the best in the series. It has a new resource called Soul Shards and you get to choose how you gather these shards. I'll leave a link to the episode in the description below. That's it guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this episode make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this series. Next episode will be my overhaul of Druid. Until then, see ya!